What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, guys, this is Scotsman. Thank you so much for hanging in there today. Yo, Kells. What's up, I am Seed? Major apologies. I know I got to pick out the pants. I am Seed, incredible clothing, organic, beautiful stuff. Sorry, I've been swamped, man. I got a guest today who is, uh, he's a young kid. He's whirlwind. You're the best. You guys are the best. You're the best ever. Back at you, I am Seed. You got great clothes. So I got Alex Iono, who's like, he's got 2.2 million followers. Oh, there he is already. Here, let me see that. Let me let me see that right away. Have yes, yes, y'all. Okay, Alex, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go live with you. Can I go live with you? Okay, cool. What's Yo. up, buddy? There he is. There he What's is. What's up? The man with the plan. Look at that haircut, man. Last time you I like saw that? you, you had. It was it was all it was all there. Now you took it. You went fast. <laughs> fast man on earth. What's up, brother? Oh man, nothing much. I'm I'm in the middle of finishing um, hanging these floating shelves right here. Okay. Uh, I I was trying to fin. I had a goal to try and finish it before we hopped on the live together, but I I have to finish screwing in the bottom so that the shelves actually fit. Well, you got on early, bro. So it's all good. You're early. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm just uh, a Billy's on here. Oh, Billy's saying, oh, oh. So I'm just kind of just working out some ideas and sketches and kind of going through my work. And for all your people who don't know my work, perhaps, uh, you know, this is this is one of my paintings. Boom, boom. <laughs> Right there. Um, and Alex, I know you're a, a huge fan of this piece. Oh, man, yeah. The Return of the Messiah. That is my, that's, that's my favorite of yours, I believe. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a fun one. Um, so I don't know how openly you want to discuss what we're working on right now. Or Yeah, I mean, I think uh, if, if you're tuning in and, and you're a fan of mine and you know what's been going on, I've been releasing a lot of music and trying to kind of continue creating as much content as possible to entertain um, the quarantined uh, world right now and, and trying to continue telling my story, having fun, staying as active, doing what I can and really connecting with people that I love I love either working with them or I love the work that they've done. And so we have, um, through, through a series of relationships, you and I connected and we actually, literally we were, la we were talking on the phone, what was it, two days ago? And we were laughing about how the last time we saw each other, it was right around the time that we were gonna start the quarantine. And we were both kind of like, ooh, this might get a little ugly. And it did. And so now it's literally like, uh, we are completely here. So I'm very happy that we got to have that conversation, got to have that meeting because uh, as you guys have seen, if, if you are not familiar with Boo's work yet, uh, he's a world renowned artist, has made some of the most iconic you know, pieces of art from, um, I guess, I don't know how art works, but like this art's generation, is that a thing? Yep, um, yep. And well, this so, piece here, Alex, sold 13 million copies. That's an incredible amount. That's insane. 13 million <laughs> copies. And so uh, being able to to talk with, with Bua and kind of tell him my story, share my story with you, bro, was something that was super special. And so without uh, divulging too much information, we are working on something that helps continue the story telling. And so we thought it'd be fun if we hopped on live uh, as you guys know, I always do a ton of 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 fan inspired and 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 all of my work has a lot of inspiration from from you guys here. And so we thought, why not hop on a live and kind of talk through ideas or maybe some some concepts that help tell the story, so that once you guys see what we're actually secretly doing, you will be a part of it and you'll be able to say, "Man, that's what they were doing." So let's talk about. And I'm going to let you take the lead on what we're actually going to talk about. Right. So uh, as you guys know, Boo is a painter. And so I, I wanted a piece of art that helped tell, that helps tell the story of, of where I've come from, how I was raised, how I transitioned through life of being a kid to a teenager, to a 
pre-adult or a young adult into being now 24 years old, having the knowledge that I have and having the life, you know, uh, experience that I have and also acknowledging that there is still a whole lot left. Uh, and so when I, when we, when we first spoke uh, in person, it was, how do we help create that? And um, if you guys, if you've ever worked with a painter, I've never worked with a painter until literally this time around. Like I had to send pictures of my hands and my face. And just so, you know, Bua is so good at getting every single detail so that when you see something, even if it's not a perfect exact example, you can clearly identify this is who this is. And I wanted that so that you can see it. And it's not like you took a picture of me and you can go, oh, you should have just taken a picture instead of gotten the painting. It is a a piece of 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 beautiful perfect art yeah. in itself and so uh, that, i mean that's what, that's what we are we are kind of going through right well that's what it has to be man like you have to say you know when you paint somebody and i always say that the the greatest portrait painters and the greatest artists that demand real recognition and real estate in museums is because they're capturing the soul and the spirit of their time, of their generation, and of the artists. And mm. early on, artists were painting people that were important. Popes, kings, aristocracy, you know, people who were, who were, who were dukes, people who were warriors. Uh, before that was obviously mythological and biblical times. And so I paint the people who I deem important, who are people that are influential and, and really have, uh, like, Snoop Dogg, just to give you an example. Yeah. Now, I feel like I caught the essence of Snoop. It's a little Snoopified. There's Snoopification. Snoop-esque, Snoopism, right? So when I paint Snoop, where do I paint him? I paint him in Inglewood. I do the snout nose because he's a, you know, he's Snoop Dogg. He's, of course, smoking a blunt because that's very Snoopish, Snooponic, right? Right. And, and the process is, Alex, is I don't really show the process. It's not made to order. It's it's in my studio. But you know, I do a sketch of Snoop here. I do a sketch of Snoop here. And eventually, what I come to is who is Snoop Doggy Dog. Same with Dr. Dre, the producer. So I'd like to think that I'm capturing the essence, and that's what I want to do with you. Mm. And there's this apotheistic kind of illumination that is part of your essence. I'm showing very dark pieces right now, sorry. <laughs> this is my easy e piece, it's just flipping through oh my, my book. Goodness, um, that is a beautiful piece. But con conceptually, yours will be the opposite of that piece um, in, in, in many ways. Um, let me let me show but like you your... said like you said that's his story that is it's not like you painted if, yeah. if, if you painted me in that space, you'd be like inauthentic. Yeah. And with tribe, oh, you know, tribe. I felt like with tribe, they're cut from the same cloth. So you got Q-Tip, Ali Shahi Muhammad, Jerobi, and Fife, but they're still kind of wearing the same thing because they're cut from the same cloth. Right. And this kind of illumination, light coming through, and the fact that you, you know, you, you're a real singer, dude. You're not like, you're not like, um, I, you know, I'm not throwing mud, but there's a lot of people out there who are really famous and who just can't really sing. There's, there's, there's a difference with people who have real truthful power of spirit in, uh, in their voice. And you have that. And so you want to show that kind of feeling. And yeah, no, I, I, that to me really reads, I mean, at least it speaks to me in terms of, uh, I, love, I love the energy, the, 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 the light, because I, I also, I have a strong faith base inside but at the same time, I'm continuing to learn and I'm continuing, my beliefs are, are ever changing. Nothing is set in stone in my, in my heart other than the knowledge of a, an existence of something. And so I love the energy and the light because also there's many people who have, the, the whole world has a, a range of beliefs. And so I think when you change it from a specific, you know, deity or a specific, you know, uh, face or or a color or or a race or a gender of that, of that, and it switches to just being energy and light. It's so inclusive. It's so uh, everything. And I take. I feel like I take when I'm writing songs, when I'm 
you know, making videos, when I'm cooking, whatever it is, I try and take from everything. And so I love that, that energy, that vibe. But then we also then tell the story. We're, I'm, I'm a singer, even though maybe in the painting, I'm not singing, there's something music based in it. There's something that's got it there. You know, there's, there's a, a choir or a, or a, or a party or a, it's a, a hangout session, whatever it is. It's, it's something that really, like you said, captures that essence of me so that there's a whole, you see Fullness it and, and feel richness. it. The yeah. same way that when I see that Easy e painting and there's the helicopter in the sky and cop cars and he's got two guns, that's his story. That is Easy yeah. e It's authentic you know? to who so, you are. It has to be authentic to who you are and that's what a great painting does. And that girl, Genesis, says Alec isn't cookie cutter, <laughs> Alex. But okay, you, she, what she's saying is, She's saying what we're saying, which is, uh, you know, passion. DJ Sa Shalimar said passion, which is what mm. it is. If you can convey the passion and I can convey that you're conveying the passion in my painting, then that's a home run. Absolutely. But I think you did that. There's another piece that you did and, I, and, and I, you showed it to me when we met of uh, Kobe Bryant that you actually did and donated for the for Kobe Bryant's foundation. And I think that you did the same exact thing with that. I loved that his arms were stretched out and his hands, he was larger than life, but at the same time you captured his humanity. It was, uh, it was, it was very cool how you did that and I saw it and it was obviously still lingering feelings and I think they'll linger forever in Los Angeles at least that made it hit your heart. And I think if we can capture that same thing where when anybody sees it, whether they know me or they don't know me, it can hit their heart, you know? Do you feel comfortable singing a little bit for the people at my end who don't know you? Your people, obviously. Yeah. You, your people love you guys. Uh, obviously, they, they, they already love you. But my people don't. Uh, we, everyone's saying, by the way, it's a little inside joke. Everyone's laughing at the fact that she said Alec. And they, everyone's saying that's your new nickname, Alec. Is my new nickname um, Alec? My mom does call me a smart Alec. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, Alex, let me, um, Alex. Let's see. Let me play some jam. Let me play a little something. You're gonna sing a little bit for us today. It's hey, all good. This is, uh... So this one's called "I'm Loving You." I wish I could unsay the words I say. I wish I could unsee the videos in my head No, oh, if I could untie the knot and unhear the promises that you forgot Would I do that? Would I? I wish I could unkiss your dirty mouth I wish I could unbite the peach and just spit it out. Oh, if I could undo the shame of ignoring my friends who told me you're insane, would I do that? Would I? Cause I'm loving you is the hardest thing to do. Yeah. Wish I could find a way to be unloving you. I'm loving you, all I want to lose, but every night I'm closer to the bitter truth, I just can't unlove you, I just can't unlove you, and I wish I could unfeel your skin. I wish I could undrown these feelings and learn to swim. Oh, if I could untie. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I could unlock the gate and unlight the fire that you put in me, would I do that? Would I? Because I'm loving you is the hardest thing to do. Yeah. Wish I could find a way to be unloving you, unloving you. All I want to lose, but every night I'm close.
closer to the big truth. I just can't unlove you. Maybe I can't unlove you. Just a little vibe. A little that was vibe. good, man. You know, it's amazing how how good that sounds over Instagram. That's a testament <laughs> to how good of a singer someone is. Because usually that brings it like 10 levels down. And if you're great on Instagram on this Insta Live format, that's how good you really are. Oh, Damn. Man, thank you, bro. Thank how you. How many instruments do you play, bro? You play the piano? Yeah, so I, I grew up I grew up going uh, going to church and being one of those kids who just loved seeing instruments being played. I remember seeing Gladys Knight's band and they would they would alternate and, and I remember the old like the old shuffling that you'd see like, you know, so even Prince, you know, Prince would be playing a show and midway through would go and knock his keyboard player off the instrument and play and jam it out and I always loved that. And so it it never became a numbers game for me. It always became the capacity to learn. And as soon as I knew that I could learn something, I wanted to learn it. And so with with instruments, it was that immediately. It was I I started with the originally. It was actually I got drum lessons when I was six. Okay. Uh, and that failed. It was horrible. I I was never a good lesson. Uh, lear I was never good at like learning from a teacher. I had to kind of figure it out for myself. And so then when I jumped to the piano and the ukulele and the, the guitar and the drums, and now it's, it's really expanded out thanks to learning the theory of music. It's expanded out to, to being realistically anything if I have enough time. Okay. Um, you're, you're getting so many requests from the, your, your, your fans and followers are asking you to sing White Roses. Oh my goodness, White Roses. That's that's an interesting one that they want. Let's see. Um, do I even know how to play White Roses? I'm I'm getting inspired just to to paint when I when I hear you. But I don't think you're from you know, YouTube. So it's like um, I wrote this when I was really really sad, but it's actually funny because it's very quarantine friendly, but it's about uh, it's about a girl that uh, it's about anybody that cheats. This one's for this one's for that. I wouldn't mind if you came through tonight. I wouldn't mind if we both forgot you cheated and both forgot you lied. I wouldn't be opposed if we played pretend so I don't have to smoke you away again. Cause it's just you know what? Never mind. Look. White roses never meant the same. White roses never meant the same. They used to mean, how'd you remember? Now it's just you're the sweetest things. I don't want to be your friend and hang. I don't want to catch up in a week. How could you say you don't want to lose me after you drag me through the streets? Every time my mind's getting over you, my heart, it doesn't follow suit. And now my body's a civil war, but no one really knows who they're fighting for. And every time my memories get rid of you, my friends post a pic of you. So I end up in a winter storm, trying not to hit you up. Like I wouldn't mind if we came through tonight. I wouldn't mind if we both forgot you cheated and both forgot you lied. I wouldn't be opposed if we play pretend like you didn't twist my head over and over again. Over and over again. Over and over again. No. No. So I wouldn't mind if you came through tonight. I wouldn't mind if we both forgot you cheated and we both forgot you lied. I wouldn't be opposed if we play pretend so I don't have to smoke you away again. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Amazing, bro. It's funny because, you. Uh, uh, you, know, you know, it's good for me. I know this is very, like, Let's put you in the let's put you in the guinea pig cage for my painting, but it's good 
to know that because, you know, oftentimes when I do paint people, you know, I, I don't know them and I try to do as much research as I can in order to get as much information. But seeing this is interesting too, because watching you play, you know, your eyes are closed and you kind of, you go into your music, the musical language that you speak so eloquently, you know, you, a lot of times your eyes are just, you know, are completely in the moment, you know what I mean? Which is crazy, you, you see people like, you know, it's a feeling. It's like, you don't need to see. Stevie Wonder doesn't need to see. Ray Charles doesn't need to see. And right, you're right. in the mode of it. I need to see. I'm, I'm not doing a painting without watching. But you want to know something crazy. Oftentimes, I do some of my best drawings when I'm not even not even looking. Oh, wow. So just I'll, draw, it up. I'll just draw this, not looking at my drawing, but I'm drawing looking at whatever I'm thinking about or, or seeing. So it's it's more of a feeling that right, right. gets in there. And I'm a visual artist, right? So you'd think that doesn't make any sense. You yeah. Do. But I don't always I don't always do that. I actually don't. Oh man. No, I think but, it, you know what it is to me too. And and it kind of it brings into, you know, kind of what our our little project that we're working on is the humanity of of a feeling, like the feelings that I feel, like white roses, where it's it's somebody that I, I want to hate so badly and move past and be, you know, be moved completely on from. But in a moment of weakness, you could say, I wouldn't even, I, at the, right now, I wish I could just have you for one second. And I just, we just, and, and we pretended that the, the, all of the bad shit didn't happen. And so when I think about, like you said, like when you're closing your eyes and you're in it, it to me makes it less about, me and it makes it more about humanity it makes it more about the feelings and that's what I, I what we've been talking about with the painting overall i love the idea of of light and energy and this but at the same time it's not because i want to be put above anything it is because i want to be able to consume the light consume the energy as a regular person who deals with loads and, and you'll listen to me i have a song coming out tomorrow called Two Kids, that's about like a very human thing. Like the first love I have, when you plan out your whole future and you think it's gonna be perfect and then now you're complete strangers. Every single human thing that I experience in life is that energy. It is not something that, it is not I'm this great thing so that ener I deserve all of this energy. It is that energy is, is an overall light because I take all of the bad experiences the positive experiences the every experience in my life and it overall creates this beautiful energy you know it, it, yeah it, it this the painting has to be something uh that's just you the spirit of you it's obviously you through my eyes but i feel like i do a pretty good job at figuring out who you know who people are in the essence of them like when when we die what is the spirit that goes out? Like, what is the essence of us that then sings with the rest of the universe and dances back into the universe? Absolutely. That's really, that's really who we are. And so it doesn't really matter if you're singing, if you're playing piano, if you're, if you're painting, your essence is always gonna be your essence. And so like when I do, I'm showing another, my Wu-Tang painting. Yeah. I mean, it's very fun and playful and they're Kung Fu and they're hip hop and they're wild professors of wisdom in the Kung Fu universe, right? That it's like they live in their own world or when I painted, um, I'll show you some other, some other, well, I'll show you the Obama painting because you know, this was, this was done, um, in the beginning, this was the hope, the hopeful Obama painting, you know, that I did where he's looking into, you know, the, the world and seeing, seeing hope, the air of a generation's influence. Um, my friend DJ Cuber, who speaks to the universe when he scratches. Mm -hmm. Yours That's is really a, you're, you are a much more uh it's got to be something spiritual and right deeper and atmospheric 
Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of comments and I'm assuming that they might they might either be just getting here or maybe they just haven't been keeping up. What we're talking about right now is just capturing the essence of if if in a in a hypothetical maybe real world <laughs> you're painting me and you're trying to capture who I am as a person or if anybody was trying to capture more than just trying to get the freckles on my lips or exactly the amount of hairs that are coming out of my hat. It's more Which so- Which is a lot, by the way. There's a lot of hairs coming out of your hat. Many hairs coming out of the hat. Yeah. Um, it's more about capturing the essence and the energy and, and so that when you see it, you feel me more than you see me, I guess. So I just wanted yeah, to get you know, that. I wanted to stop. I wanted to do a quick pause so that anybody, I'm seeing a lot of people being like, I'm confused, but this is fun. And I wanted right. to try and clarify. Well, this is, you know, this is, uh, this has to be you feeling your, when you're in the mode. What are, What is Alex in the mode of creation? Mm. You know, it's when you're singing, when you lost yourself in that, and then you put yourself in your world. And that's really, uh, that's a sign of a great, of, of a great portrait artist that's why rembrandt's the greatest portrait artist of all time um because he really is able to capture and hopefully it won't be like john singer Sargent says every time i paint a portrait i lose a friend you know hopefully we'll still be friends after this alex we so. will we will still be friends i think the, <laughs> i mean the biggest thing is and more so than even being friends is that i've been especially when it comes to the music the visual that goes along with music when it comes to music videos when it comes to album artwork when it comes I've always loved the trying to blend the way that it was in its in its heyday and and blending it now and and I've done many different types of music videos many different types of it will be more specific with album artwork and I've it's been some of them have been as simple as just text on a flat you know base some of them it has been a picture of me my face smiling or frowning or a half portrait of me or whatever the concept of doing something one where it's a it is it is not a picture it is uh it is uh it is something that isn't just from you know uh, it's not digitally done it is something that has to be created with hands was something i've always been passionate about and then on top of that having it done by somebody who is known for being like you said you're known for capturing that essence not for being like oh that looks just like him but for being like, I feel exactly who that person is, yeah. is an absolute dream come true. Yeah, you have to, you have to capture the spirit. So sometimes, you know, it. I always say that my paintings are more me than I am myself. Ooh. You know, because it's really an, an indication. You know what I mean? And perhaps, you know, the great singers are more them than they are themselves. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps your music. Your music is like that uh, as well. It, it gets to the core of your existence, the core of your being, the core of your greatness. Right. And so I guess, and, like, uh, I guess in this, in our, in our special project that we're working on, it is. And I want to bring my, my story, my full life story to see how well those two can pair. And I'm so, so grateful, dude. You're literally like, it's insane to me that if you were to say, hey, you get to choose anybody to paint the picture of you, that I actually get the person that I would choose. And so I really do, I, I really do appreciate you. And I, and I appreciate <laughs> the time that, that we get to spend together talking about it, dreaming about it, and then, you know. Way better. All right. So, um, so yeah, no, I was just saying it's, it's insane to me how, how lucky I am that I get to choose, you know, if, if you ask me, Hey, you get to pick anybody to paint you, I actually get the person that I chose. And so I'm very you, grateful. Uh, and, and it's, um, a, such an, um, I knew your work before I even knew you and now getting to know you and see you. Oh my goodness. That's just in my living room. This man is a genius. This man is an art genius. Well, the thing, I, the thing I love about you when I came to your house, it's like you are equally the creator and also the fan. Like you are, you are an art. You're, you're more than just a painter. Like you're an enthusiast, you know? 
I, uh, I live it. I live it. You know, we, as artists, we have to live it. We have to become it. You know, Picasso's mother said, when he was a little child, he said, if you're in the, if you're in the army, you will become a general. If you were, you know, a church boy, you will become the Pope. And he said, instead, I became an artist and I became Picasso. <laughs> you have to be the greatest possible you mm -hmm. in order to look at that beautiful day out there. Right? Oh, that man. reminds me it of one of your songs, day. bro. I need to go tan. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That reminds me of one of your songs. That's kind of the energy of it. Oh, um, man. And you know, it's funny because as you sing, I'm getting more inspired to do uh, more, more work. And I will be posting, well, when I'm, when I'm done, I'll keep it a secret and then I'll post the painting of you, obviously. But uh, that's, my, that's my Instagram handle now, Alex. But I think, um, I think your eyes are definitely closed. Uh, I'm thinking of this format. That's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. I know this is a little insular for, for the audience here, but I'm thinking about drawing it this way because I'm thinking about the arm stretched out. And once we do that, as you can see, the format changes to a little bit of that wide screen, you know, like like movies, you know, like a real movie 1080. Right. Screen. I think that's the format that I'm feeling. And your hands, can I see your hands? You have big hands, huh? I guess. You kind of have a really, I mean, they're great hands. You're like an artist, like a real art. Everybody look at his hands. Let's comment on Alex. Hold up one of your hands. What, what hands are, how great are those hands? <laughs> Jesus, bro. So you got to catch the hands. There's, I always say there's as much character in a hand as there is in a portrait, in a face oh, portrait. Wow. Well, I remember you said, too, when you did, when you painted the DJ, you spent time, every brush stroke, perfecting the, the, the wrinkles and crevices of the, of the DJ's fingers. And, and I yeah. remember you, you mentioning that. And then we spoke about it when we were sitting there. Um, when we sat and met, we talked about Kobe's hands and you always mention how Michelangelo always, always drew these profound and, and painted these profound hands and, and the hands were always very uh, crucial. How long would you say you took on those hands right there? Don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> a, long, a long time on those hands. But, you're, but you have very unique hands. And so I feel like, well, Michelangelo sculpted hands that were so big that when you look up at the statue of David, it's in proportion because you're looking at the hand and looking up. So oh, proportionately, they're bigger. But I think a lot of artists that I love uh, show the power and strength in hands. And I think, um, I think it's just very key to show as much of a portrait this sounds crazy other artists are gonna be like this boo is crazy but if the portrait is here it also should be here and if you think about the similarity of that you know the hand is the exact size of the face the hand you know what i mean there's there's a symmetry here there's an asymmetry here and there's something so special and profound uh, everyone's hands are so different, just like everyone's face is so different. So if you could capture the hands and the face, that's it. You're the greatest artist alive. That's how I feel. I really do, because a lot of times artists will hide hands. They'll do portraits like this. You know, or, yeah, you know, like they'll never, they're not showing how much personality is in the hands. And your, your hands are full of personality. And so no wonder you play the piano. You play the guitar too? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're like Billy. Billy plays every instrument too. Hey, man, I try. I try. <laughs> Billy Mon, what a talented guy. Jesus. Yeah. Beautiful voice, everything. So like, yeah, there's yeah. not a lot of people like that, like Prince. You know, Prince, I saw Prince in concert twice, man. Like, he was just, a, he was such a G. Oh, but one of my biggest, one of my biggest regrets in life is never being, is not getting to see him live. 
I saw him twice. He touched my hand. I don't want to talk about it. But when he touched <laughs> my hand, painter. Painter. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. Prince is unbelievable. I let you ever see that clip where Kim Kardashian comes on stage? Oh and, yeah, and he and he like boots her off, right? He says, "Get off my stage!" You're like, "Whoa!" Like she's trying to dance with him, and he's like, "You're man, get off my stage." <laughs> anyway, that that's golden, but. Um, do you, will you be, what, what about Billie Eilish? Do you like Billie Eilish? I love Billie Eilish. I think She's Billie very Eilish, talented, you know right? what it is, is Billie Eilish is a beautiful, ver is a beautiful uh, example of, of self awareness, that sturdiness in, of like there is, Billie Eilish is like a massive oak tree. You know, there is no shaking it. There's no And a little white it. girl body. <laughs> in, in, a in, yeah, in, the, in the sweetest and a beautiful body um but in 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 terms of who she is is like an oak tree there is no moving there's no shaking no matter what the storm is no matter how hard they try and push it boom and that to me is something that i admire about any artist there's so many artists like that i look at john bellion you look at like you said stevie wonder prince they never said oh well I want to do this, but everybody likes that. So I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And as a human, I feel like we all kind of have those moments where we want to just, we, we, we go, we start going from being, going against the grain and doing what's passion, what we're passionate about mm -hmm. to starting to go with the grain because we acknowledge that that's what the world uh, accepts at the moment. And I think as a human who deals with that, trying to always push to follow my heart, and even if it's against the grain, I see artists like Billie Eilish, I see artists like John Belly, and I see artists like Pharrell and, and Jay-Z and Kanye that are that I will never go with the grain because it is what the people accept, even if it's not true to themselves. Yeah, I mean, say whatever you want about Kanye, but that guy is so freaking talented, it's insane. I mean, he's he's definitely different. He's a real artist, you know. But yeah, absolutely. God damn, he's so talented. I think he's so talented. What, oh no! Else, what he, you even see you even see him in during the Sunday service stuff where he's you know he's all over the place doing it all, you know. And so whether it be whether you're a fan of all of him or a fan of some of him or you're a fan of none of him, you cannot deny the greatness and the hours that he put in to the art that he that he is you know he is a master of yes Shalomar DJ Shalomar Missy Elliott a hundred percent I painted Missy Elliott Shalomar I don't like she's trust me she she's another super duper crazy talent she's always reinventing Absolutely. herself and that's the interesting thing about why Picasso is so great because he's a reinvention he's a blue period master a rose period master, a sculpting master. He gets into fauvism, he gets into cubism, he gets into impressionism, he gets into pointillism. Whatever he does, he's great. He's doing printmaking of, of Greek mythological drawings, etchings. He's great because he's reinventing himself like Madonna reinvented herself. Madonna is a great example of that. Lauren Hill is a great example of that. Adele is a great example of that in a modern space. Ooh, do you think Adele reinvented herself? No, oh no, sorry. I'm talking about, okay. I'm still continuing on to, uh, I believe that Madonna reinvented herself, not because she needed to reinvent herself, but because mm -hmm. that's who she was. And so right. I, 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 I go past the reinvent, so people who reinvent themselves, and I go to people who go with who they are, and they follow who they are, regardless of what's popular, regardless of what that is. And mm -hmm. I think Madonna did follow who she was and went with who she was, by reinventing herself because she said okay I'm, I'm starting to become this this pretty <laughs> this pretty beautiful pop artist let's let's cut against the grain let's date dennis rodman let's let's be our truest selves you know, dennis rodman is a perfect example also of somebody who will relentlessly be themselves regardless of what's popular i don't know if you're watching the last dance but it's like oh, sunday sunday it. 6 p.m forget it's my it favorite, it's my favorite forget time it. of the week. you should come over and watch it bro because i'm obsessed do you have two team. TVs? Do you have two TVs that are six feet away from each other? Yeah, exactly. There's there's Missy Elliott, by the way. Ah, I put another. her. In a, I painted her in a spacesuit, um, just kind of orbiting the Earth. 
There you go. And by the way, someone said something funny. Uh, Whirlwind Dreamer said uh, Madonna even reinvented her accent. She came back and started. <laughs> Look, that's called dis that's called disassociative behavior. And uh, I don't know what that was. That was just uh, that was that was all over the place. But yes, DJ Shalimar, I told you I painted Missy. I wouldn't miss Missy. Missy is another person who's reinvented herself to stay current. Absolutely. But it's, but it's not, I don't even know if it's to stay current, but it is, okay, this is where the world is now. Who am I in this world that it is now? You know, like she, she came back and had, she, she, re, she currentified herself, if anything. Like she modernized what Missy was back in the day where it's dancing and it's like that dirty, grimy hip hop that's somehow still gonna play on the pop stations. She said, okay, let's do that same thing. Let's just do it, the 2020 version of it. You know, it wasn't like she came and was like, okay, I'm out of money or I'm out of fans. Like my fans don't care. What is everybody else doing? Okay, mumble rap. And then she did a mumble rap song. She came back and said, I'm going to do the most Missy version of what is going on today. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. And she also had the help of Timberland. So that didn't hurt, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, DJ Shalimar says she's like, I'm back and I'm still dope. That's exactly what it is. Is It's not about I'm back and I'm going to do what you guys like. Yeah. It's I'm back and I'm me. And I and that and that shit is still fire. Alex, who um, I, I agree with Tina. Tina Mara says J. Cole. I love J. Cole. Oh, yeah. J. Cole. I think yeah. he's, I think he's example. He is poetry today. I paint a lot to J. Cole. Um, who do you think in the, I'm just going to ask the hip hop space, right now, would you recommend? Hold on, so what was that? Uh, who would you recommend taking a listen to in the hip hop space? Oh man. Like who do you uh, love? That's a tough one. Cause I, I obviously, I listen to a lot of the artists that everybody else listens to, you know, like I think J. Cole and, and, and Kendrick to me are tied for for the most impactful in terms of the message that they send. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know who I've been listening a lot to and it's, and it's for no other reason than you hear the authenticity. Uh, there's a rapper uh, named YBN Namir. Okay. There's, there's YBN Namir and YBN Corday and they're like in a group. And you know they them? both, it's very, it is very, a lot of their lyrics are very disrespectful. <laughs> no like, problem. In a, in a, and they're teenagers. So they're, they imagine like in my mind, I go, okay, a teenager is saying this shit. Like that's disrespectful. Well, I just asked my teenage daughter and she said, I said, do you listen to them? And what'd you say? She said, duh. Like, okay, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think they're great. I mean, I look, I look at Childish Gambino, if you even consider him, if you would even put him in the box of a rapper because yeah, he's put doing him in the everything artist box, from, but he could be rapper. Exactly. And so, you know, I, but I, I really do love it in terms of, uh, in terms of listening to music, I'm really an enthusiast, you know, like I love listening to everything underneath the sun from Drake's newest record to, like you said, the Childish Gambino stuff to going back and listening to Wu-Tang, listening to ODB and, and listening to, you know, all of, the whole gamut of music is like we're the same thing. It's this energy that I, that I love to consume and then create the most raw version of me. Who, who, who is, who, who else do you listen to in the pop world? Oh, in the pop world, you know, who I really love is the 1975. I've been working out to them. I've been, uh, I have really no idea who that is. Oh my gosh. You got to listen to them. They are, it's, they're okay. like a, it's an alt rock, pop right. rock group and they are the 1975 the 1975 yeah okay. and the story this is the storytelling that they that they they do with such abstract lyrics that when you listen to it you go oh my gosh this is so special uh, mm -hmm. i listen to a lot of the 1975 let's see who else is like big and hot honestly i've been listening to a lot of gospel music and i think it'll it's showing in the music that i've been releasing and i think mm -hmm. it'll continue to show through time the music that i'm releasing so listening to a lot of like tasha combs and listening to kirk franklin and listening mm -hmm. you know listening to uh jonathan mcreynolds and, and and a lot of gospel based music and so it's kind of all over the place in terms of what i've been listening to in the pop realm i believe i think khalid is is one of the greatest artists of like this young new fresh generation mm -hmm. kristen serafino's here look at my hair 
Chris and Serafino is is usually cuts my hair when we're not in quarantine, but and she's absolutely yes. she's the same way that you are a genius on 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 in painting. She is like a genius when it comes to hair. So if you ever need a hair, you got a great haircut now. But if you ever do need a haircut and you're in New York City, hit up Kristen. What? Oh. Yeah. Well. Listen, you got to cut your hair when you you don't have as much as you used to. You just you either got to cut you either got to cut it or grow it, bro. And we're both doing both sides. You're, uh, you're you know, cutting it, uh, I'm growing it. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so that that's good to know because I I need you know sometimes uh, when I'm painting I just need to just get into a zone and get away. Yeah, man. The, well, in the matrix of it. I, I mean, I love talking with you about it and I love explaining this because I think it helps further. Um, uh, you have, you're privy to uh, kind of the next phase of what's coming in my career. And so I think between hearing and seeing the next phase of what's coming in my career through music, through movies, through, you know, all of that, the YouTube videos, and also having these conversations where we can take a deeper dive that go beyond just the surface. Uh, I, I love being able to tell you as much as I can so that I can we can you know collectively and obviously at the end of the day it's your hand painting painting the picture but we can collectively both give it our all so that when that painting comes out I can look at you and be like you crushed it you did there couldn't you couldn't have done anything better you know there's no way that I'm going to be able to do anything better than what I'm going to do <laughs> there, there's not even a, there's not even a chance I love Not that, even man. a chance. I am uh, I am Jordan in the sixth championship zone wow. at the stage of my career. Well, I sure hope this painting isn't the last dance then. <laughs> this is not the last dance, but you know, as an artist, um, you you have a certain amount of paintings. You know that you just do. Yeah. And at some point, God forbid, I lost my hand. God forbid. You know, tomorrow I'm not here anymore. Whatever I've done up until this point is what I have in my, what we call as artists, my oeuvre. You know, that, that is the collection of my work. And so um, I think this could be added to the canon of my great art historical paintings. I think that's, uh, I think you're, you're a great subject for that. You know, I, I love your music. On, on the real, and I also respect you as an artist, you know. Sometimes I love the music of people, you know, to be honest, Alex, but, you know, it's different to respect them as a singer, because I, I had this experience so many times in my life where I, uh, where I loved the artist and I went to the concert and I was like, oh my God, they can't sing, that's so weird. You know, quite honestly, I'll be real with you, I danced at the Fun House, I used to be a professional break dancer, I danced at the Fun House and Madonna was performing and I was shocked at what I'm look, I'm a huge Madonna fan. I love her. I love her look, her feel, her vibe, her transformation, what she did for the culture. But, you know, she can't sing, bro. Like, I'm just <laughs> keeping it. She can't sing. She can't sing. She doesn't know how to sing. She's not a great singer. That's a mm. fact. So when I went to see her, I was like, yo, she can't sing. Like, what? That's crazy. So here we are. And I'm going to ask you to sing one more song for us because, you know, we only have nine minutes left. But here we are on a shitty Instagram portal the, 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 with our phone speakers and you sound incredible. That's a testimonial to how good you are and how great your voice is. It's crazy. Of course she's a performer. She tries. She's fantastic, but she's not a great singer. Some people just can't sing. Aretha Franklin, I saw her. She could sing. Oh, she could. She was. She could. It was not even singing with her. That's just. That's. She was that's channeling. Gospel. That is gospel. God. Not even gospel music. That is the gospel of yes. life. She was channeling God. Okay, so there's levels to the game, bro. And that, when you I hear can, somebody that, that I can, can absolutely agree with. Yeah, you know when you when you hear somebody that can actually sing, it's incredible. So it's an honor to be to be. Um, yeah, someone said neither can J Lo cares if j-lo could sing look at her she's so come on who cares she's unbelievable she's got she got she's got skills that are that are that go yeah beyond. there's some people yeah there's some like you know beyonce's pretty good she's she's great looking she's great singer she's got everything kind of beyonce's kind of got everything you know look you can't have 10 out of 10 you know what i mean you could have you're you, you could have like six out of 10 is pretty good you're nine out of 10 like 
J Lo's nine out of ten. You know, she could dance. She's probably the, one of the prettiest women in the world. I mean, you know, she's a nine out of ten. Can't have everything. Nobody's you, Alex. God. Golly. Okay, come on. Man, I got something. You know what? I'm 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 not even gonna play the piano on this one. I got something that I wanted. Uh, I, I've sung it two times. It's been. I've only sung it two times for the live for, for the world. And I'm gonna sing it for the third time because I wanna I wanna continue <laughs> capturing the essence and capturing uh, and giving you the the most of me so that we can uh, we can make this painting as best as possible. Uh, you might have heard this song. I think I might have sent it to you before already. Okay, um, I'm excited. This one's called This one's called Good Morning. Okay. Yeah. Last night was shit. My phone was dark. The world's a mess. That's just the start. But I slept all right. I guess it's good morning. Phone call from my dad lost his job. Text from my ex. She's moving up, but we're all alive. It must be good morning. Nightmares and mistakes. Swim around in this bed that I made. Know the past doesn't change. But we're pushing past it today. So get up, make some coffee, make some love. Take a shower, do whatever, just get up. Cause the sun ain't gonna stop. If you're ready, if you're not, just get up. Today is all we got. Tomorrow might not come. So, so get up, good morning. Look, throw on a shirt. The same old jeans. I swear my bed's been never clean, but I'm feeling new, cause it's a good morning. Look, it might be the day when nothing's right. Might be the day that changes my whole life. You never know. They both start with good morning. Nightmares and mistakes. They swim around in this bed that I made. I know the past doesn't change. But we're pushing past it today, so get up. Make some coffee, make some love. Take a shower, do whatever, just get up. Cause the sun ain't gonna stop. If you're ready, if you're not, just Cause today is all we got. Tomorrow it might not come, so get up. Get up. Good morning. So get up. And wash all your fears away. Cause we got a world to change You know a drop could start away It's never too late See the beauty in simple things All the hope that a sunrise brings You can see it in everything If you just get up Hey, take a shower, do whatever, just get up Cause the sun ain't gonna stop If you're ready, if you're not, just get up Today, it's all we got. Tomorrow, it might not come. So get up, get up. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. Make some coffee, make some love. Take a shower, go and run. Do whatever, just. Because the sun ain't gonna stop. You ready tonight? Because today, it's all we got. Tomorrow, it might not come. So get up, get up. Justin Boa, good Yo, morning. bro, that was amazing. I'm getting the fuck up and getting this thing. <laughs> I'm uh, inspired to go right now, man. That was amazing. Wow. Thank you, man. I appreciate you so much, man. I cannot express love it Love you, enough. brother. Love you. I love you too, you man. you want to check safe. out what I'm doing, that's my Instagram, Justin Boa. Yeah, make sure Follow you guys it. go and check out Justin Boa's Instagram. We're going to have some special stuff coming. You can trust that this Instagram Live was not for nothing, guys. Yeah. Love you. And I'm um, getting up <laughs> this morning, mother. Woo! All right, brother. Love yes, you. sir. All right. All right, peace.